What is up everyone? Welcome back to your daily dose of Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Death and today we are playing Kerrigan. Let's get into a game. Wait till they get a load of me. Alright, today we find ourselves in the Garden of Terror. My team, Uther, Illidan, Kerrigan, Kjalthas, Rexar, enemy team, Lunara, Brightwing, Arthas, the Butcher, and Falstad. Okay, so looking at the enemy's team, we do have to be careful of the Brightwing. She can polymorph us when we do jump in, so we need to be very, very careful about that. Alright. Rexar can technically lean by himself, and so can Illidan. We'll go ahead down here with Illidan for right now, just to give more of a melee presence in the bottom lane. Okay, we're going to be going for a Ravage build today, and with that we're taking Siphoning Impact. Uh, Ravage is going to heal us for 10% of our maximum health if it hits an enemy. And it should hit an enemy because we can target them and jump right at them. Alright, our abilities really quick. Our, uh, our Q is called Ravage. This basically allows us to jump on an enemy, deal some damage, and if we do kill the enemy, including minions, it's going to reset the cooldown. Alright, our W is called Impaling Blades. Basically, this is a uh, area effect ability that you put it on the ground, and after just over a second, it's going to pop up, deal some damage, and stun enemies in that in that circle. Our E is called Primal Grass. This is a cone attack that is going to draw enemies in towards us. So the basic combination is throw your W down in between you and the enemy, and then drag them in using the E. And I'm going to get zoned out here pretty hard. So I'm just going to ping for some assistance down here, because this could get ugly. Very, very ugly. Alright, now our trait is called Assimilation. Basically what this allows us to do is we can uh, get a shield every time we get damage, uh, whenever we deal damage with basic attacks and abilities. So the idea is it's 10% of the damage for 6 seconds. So we're going to be able to put a shield in ourselves, which is going to allow us to engage and hopefully deal some damage. Alright, I missed the combo. I got rooted and uh, polymorph there. We're just going to go ahead and heal off of that. All right. Go heal now. So when they come in, we're gonna be able to heal a bit when the enemies rotate in. As long as all right, we're gonna actually just tap them up and help out here. There's this combo. Oh, we uh, did we somehow? Oh, we didn't throw out the W. I really want to get these seeds. Illidan's chasing hard, and he did get the Arthas. All right. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna help out with this one now. You can see we got the kill with that, and it reset the cooldown. We're just gonna sit here. We're gonna do some basic auto attacks just to uh, conserve mana a bit. Get out of. Uh, Misha's way. We're gonna do the full combo just to get some extra damage in this thing, and you can't stun the bosses or anything like that, but it's just extra damage that we were looking at getting. Okay, so we got about the same number of seeds. We are gonna get the same exact number of seeds here. Bam! 90 and 90. We're just gonna come over here, shoot over here, help Illidan out with this camp on the Alright, at this talent here, we are going to be taking Clean Kill. Clean Kill is going to allow us to get mana back um, whenever we kill somebody with our Ravage. So now we get 100% of the mana back, and... Alright, Illidan's going to go here. We're going to go down. Um, and the next Ravage is going to deal 20% more damage. There's the Polymorph. All right. Now, as a note, I do not play a ton of Kerrigan. Um, my my combos are very well hit and miss. <laughs> sometimes I do really well. Sometimes I don't. It all just depends. All right. We're gonna come up here now. Kerrigan is also a fantastic roamer, uh, just because of the nature of her combos. No time like the present. Alright. We're just gonna make sure we're within, we're in range to uh to get experience. We're gonna let them kill each other off. I'm not gonna push the lane at all. Nice little even lane here. <laughs> nice, we did take an aggressive camp. Good job, team. We're just trying to continue to soak, 
The enemy is slightly ahead in experience, but not by much. Not by much. All right. Clear that out. Okay, this down here we're taking Assimilation Mastery. While Assimilation Shields are up, we are going to get um, health and mana regeneration. All right, we can see the Butcher is in the is in the bottom or mid lane there, so we, we don't have to worry about him charging in after us. We still need to be careful. Kill that thing. Kill that thing. Should rotate down. All right, Illidan's backing. All right, there's there's no there's no gank happening right now. She just used her Q. We're gonna jump in her. Hit her with the stun. All right, she's gonna deal some damage. Just we're just gonna tap for some mana and some health, and basically ignore the damage that she did. The night comes, heroes. Remember. All right, Kill night time comes. And claim their seats. I'm able to clear this out pretty fast right now. All right, we did lose Rexar mid. Night is happening momentarily. Ah, uh, he dodged it. He dodged it. I don't have the combo anymore. Nice job. Alright, we're gonna back out. Oh no! Okay, let's go ahead and get seeds. Okay, so they've already gotten a camp. <clears throat> we need to catch up here. Finally, you have enough seeds. We have enough seeds as well. Can we get the kill on Lenar? Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and start this a while. Let me should tank this thing. Okay, this town here, we're taking Maelstrom. Now, Maelstrom, basically, it uh, puts a damage aura around us. We're going to deal damage, and it's going to hopefully fill up our assimilation shield a bit. Now, I've I've always struggled with when and how to use this thing. Um, I, I'm assuming that you want to use this before you actually engage in on the enemy. That way, you're dealing a ton of damage to them. But I've always I've always struggled with it. The terror cannot wait long. Control its power. All right, we got somebody going back and getting it. It's gonna deal damage to this thing. Hopefully save this. Or does it look like it's gonna? We did get the stun off on her, but there was no follow up. Hopefully we can get we can back out. We can make it Rexar, I believe. Got the stun off on her again. We need to rotate up and deal with the terror. <laughs> They're distracting us big time. All right, I'm gonna get my go make my way up there now. Our terror is doing work as well, but theirs is pretty much I think doing better than ours right now. We're just gonna take this thing down quickly. So he stops locking down our structures. There we go. One nice thing about uh, the uh, one and I believe it is uh, three, or the, the the first and second. Um, sorry. Big old team five. Um, the first and second talent tiers, the abilities grant you some pretty nice um, utility with your Q. You can get in at the enemy, deal some damage to them, um, and get a lot of healing as well. You can basically clear, clear waves pretty easily. Alright, we almost have enough here.
For some reason, my W is not going off. I am, like, incredibly slow about hitting that thing. I don't understand why. There we go. Got it that time. Whew. Okay. After we get this fort down, we should go down and take that. Alright, I'm going to start heading down that way now. Alright, at this town here, we're taking Lingering Essence. I think I'm basically hitting the E a little too fast when I'm trying to uh, toss out my my combo. I need to just chill out, take it a little slower. <laughs> this will give us enough for another Terror. There we go, got the combo off once again. Ooh, nice... Nice gust. Harvest the result of your efforts, heroes. Bring my terror to life. Nice job. Okay, we should actually, I was gonna say, we should take advantage of this. Rexer can definitely take it if he wants it. That'll work. No, oh, we have uh, some. Oh, Bill it and saw it too. Alright, clear this wave out really fast. This thing is out of ammo, so we can actually come down here and deal some damage to the structure now. Before we can actually take a shot. So we can take this time to talk about Kerrigan a little bit. Um, I think Kerrigan is a pretty strong early game hero. Oh no! But, uh, I, I really do enjoy her. Um, my biggest problem that I have with her, though, is she falls into the category that a lot of melee assassins fall into for me. Where I like to play them, but I tend to go a little too deep with them, and it, it ends up costing me dearly. <laughs> so, she can roam very well, she can deal a significant amount of damage in the lane, she can bully, um, and she actually scales okay in the late game now, uh, mainly because of her shield she can go in, but she can be pretty easily countered as well. Especially with a polymorph or something like that. Alright, at this time here we're taking uh, aggressive defense. Basically this is going to give our shield, uh, our shield's going to now um, be doubled. So we're going to get more shielding, which means that we can go in and hopefully not get destroyed immediately. Oh, gosh, the combo! There we go. Kill him with the Q. We actually have a pretty decent team. Alright, just got her down there. For the Kerrigan engage. Um, do we want to just finish? We're just going to pop our shield here. I think we can just end it. Oh no! I'm trying to just end! Oh my word, I died! Look at you! Come on guys, focus on! Nice job, GG! GG. That was a very quick game. Very, very quick. This just goes to show what early game aggression can do for you. Um, we had a team that is very strong in the early game. We got a lot of ganks off early on, which put us at the advantage. Now, we both hit 10 about the same time, if I remember correctly. But um, definitely getting the double terror put us at a much larger advantage and allowed us to get in there and basically push in for the win. The second terror really, really helped us out. The thing was the team fight right before we went and took uh, the fort and then the last... Um, little mini boss there that really pushed us ahead but uh, here are the stats really quick Kerrigan like I said she is a fantastic uh, ganker she can roam really well and if you have a team that that allows you to do that with extra stuns and things like that if you look at our team comp we have Uther who can stun I can stun Kael'thas can stun and Rexar can stun as well so we have lots of stuns and lockdown in our team which really helps to sort of enhance the the ganking style and I think that was what really helped us now we didn't really gank all that much this time which is unfortunate uh, we didn't really have we didn't really roam all that much but um, 
when we did get into team fights, we had a lot of lockdown, and that definitely is what helped tip us in the in, in favor of winning the game. So here are our talents really quick that we went with. Like again, we went with the Ravager style build today. Siphoning impact at uh, level one allows you to heal with your Q. At four, clean kill. Basically, this restores mana when you get the kill, and your next Ravager can deal 20% more damage. Assimilation mastery at seven. Health and mana regen by increased by 100% while a shield is active. So your shield is active for six seconds at level seven. So for six seconds, as long as you are not taking damage uh, and your shield just stays up, you're going to be able to heal. Uh, your your health and mana regen are increased by 100%. At 10, we took Maelstrom. I know a lot of people like the Ultralisk too. I think it just depends on what you're looking for or what you need for that fight. The Ultralisk can be easily zone uh, can be easily used to zone out enemies. So if you don't want somebody to fight, you just stick the Ultralisk on them and they they chase them down. I also like the Ultralisk on maps where it's like you have to fight at an objective because you can put the Ultralisk on that objective like. Um, Battlefield of Attorney for the Immortals. You can just have it sick the Immortal, and then you guys can go back to the team fight. I think Maelstrom is great because it can help you just sort of stay alive in a lot of really nasty situations. And because you have to dive in a lot, uh, you pop this Maelstrom, you dive in, or pop it in, pop it after you jump in. Just remember that you got to keep in mind the enemy team composition. Um, but this can help you stay alive because you're dealing a lot more damage, you're getting a lot more shields. At, a, at 13, we took Lingering Essence. Uh, this basically lets our shield last for 20 seconds instead of 6 seconds. I think this is honestly a must take. To be honest, all the shield talents are must takes in my opinion. You have to take these because these are what are going to allow you to stay out longer and basically what this allows you to do is you can build up a shield and then when the team fight starts you still have the shield as opposed to getting the shield, 6 seconds later it goes down, the team fight starts and then you have no shield. You have to jump in bare. So this is going to allow you to keep that shield for longer. You can go out, you can Get some, uh, get some shielding in lane, then go to the team fight, and you're good to go. At 16, we took um, aggressive defense. This just makes your shield larger. So again, now it lasts 20% longer. While it's active, you have health and mana regen, and it's it's basically double double in size. At 20, you can take um, the Omega Storm, which is the upgraded version of Maelstorm. This basically uh, gives you it extends the the range of it, and I believe it increases or the amount that's generated. Um, the amount of shielding generated from it. There you go. Uh, shields generated by Maelstrom are increased by 100%. So you get a lot more shielding from the, Mael the, the Maelstrom or the Mega Storm. Or you could take Bolt of the Storm. Now, personally, I like Bolt of the Storm. Um, but if you are really good with the queuing in, hitting your W, uh, pulling people in with the E, um, and then you, know, you're, you, you can be safe, that's fine. Um, the Omega Storm can keep you alive for those situations, but I always like Bolt of Storm because it can allow you to to do extra things. You no longer um, need to, if you want to be really aggressive, you no longer need to queue in. You can actually save the queue for when they try to escape, so you can queue into them again and deal some extra damage. But this just gives you more options, and then you can always escape with it too. You can always escape with it. But that's going to be it for today. I apologize for the missed, uh, the missed W's there. I don't know what is up. Um, I could blame it on keyboard, I could blame it on anything else, but I think it was just me being a little hyper-aggressive and really wanting to get the combo out there and not uh, mistiming the, the keys and stuff like that. So you got to keep that in mind when you're playing. Try not to hit the E and the W so close together. Put it down, then draw them in with the E. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I will catch you all later.